Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> The one before, oh, that one's quite fun as well, that's funny. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Well, here we go again. Joe here Joyce go. goes in against Jin Lai Zhang for the second time. Uh, why are you taking this rematch immediately, Joe? I don't know, actually. Why am I taking it? <laughs> uh, no, I want to get, I want to get the title, get, get my um, WO interim title back in time for when the mandatory gets called and I'm third in line because it goes... Uh, WBA, IBF, and then WBO, so yeah. And um, I thought it was a great fight for Zhang last time. It'll be even better this time when I beat his ass and uh, rip the title back and then march on to a bigger fight. Yeah, of course, that is the game plan. Uh, yeah, September 23rd, live on TNT Sports, not BT Sport anymore. TNT. Are we going to get some explosive stuff from yourself on yeah. TNT? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I plan to do. <laughs> Joe, just to go back to um, the first fight, I know I spoke to you at, at Kingswood Golf Club about this, but just to summarise uh, about the, the first camp, the weight loss, um, what went wrong tactically, what lessons um, would you say you've taken away from that first fight with Zhang? <sighs> it's a hard lesson, a hard... Uh, pill to swallow but it's um, he's a good fighter he was accurate and fast very fast and he's experienced and he just kept on nailing me in the eye and that kind of, you know started to close up so my vision is, was in, affected but I still think I was in there a little bit but I think I could do loads better the next time and the, the next fight is going to be way bigger and you know he, we've both We've both like know exactly you know what we're dealing with, so it's you know about both our teams um, you know bringing out the best um, both of us. But like I believe I can, I've got what it takes to beat him and uh, go on and do a lot better than I did. So it's about you know correcting like mistakes and things and getting stuff right in the camp. So I can be a, a bigger, stronger jungler, heavier jungler. In terms of, what but it's going to be it's going to be tough though because the weather's so hot out there. But yeah, Karen. Yeah, it's literally going to come on to that. The weather in Las Vegas, obviously, training out there, you lose a lot of weight. So I don't know. Is there going to be a, a lot of focus from yourself, from Ishmael Sellers, whoever your S and C guy is, about putting the weight back on? Or is that not really going to be on your mind? Um, is it going to be a natural process rather than a specific weight you need to hit? I think I just I think I just need to be stronger because like I've always like had to bit uh, try and get down to like a, a more optimal weight. Like I was a bit heavy for for Parker, but I did really well. So I mean, if I beat w w uh, Zhang at the weight I was at and been more mobile and agile and stuff, that would have been you know better. Uh, but I just learnt the hard way and and took the shots. And, couldn't get what he was so fast that he and accurate with that that straight left that I you know started to close up my eye and um, he's a good fighter but it, you know I need to I think I'm better and I can I can do better next time so it's about you know getting everything right in camp and you know maybe getting a bit stronger a bit heavier if possible and um, get the the tactics and stuff right and just um, yeah, just get the title back in, t in time for the mandatory, sh mandatory call in absolutely shot thing. Actually, a few weeks ago, I watched the, the first fight back and he started very strong. Um, he was landing a, a lot of left hands, his backhand. But as it was going on, you could see he was slowing down a, a little bit and you were, even though your eye was completely bust, you were having a a say sometimes in the fight yeah. and people do feel like had that gone past six and you know the eye injury hadn't happened and the doctor allowed you to carry on you would have gone all night um, throughout them 12 rounds that you could have nicked that on points Joe mm. um, so this time I know you're not going to give your tactics away but 
surely in that first half of the fight, you've got to avoid as many shots as possible, Joe, yeah, and then like take the them defense, into deep waters. Yeah, the defence was terrible, was shocking. I mean, but no, but Zhang was really fast, and uh, he's he's a you know he's used to being southpaw, so he's used to fighting orthodoxes. So he's uh, and especially fighting um, Hergovic, so he's in, in a good good position, and he did um, did what he needed to do. So it's about it's. I think it's all about like me and my team, like pulling everything together and getting cor correcting all the wrongs and kind back bigger, stronger, better than ever. I feel like though, what I'm trying to get at is if you can avoid as much punishment early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So the defence, yeah, it's like working on these these things because, and especially because I'm not used to dealing with southpaws as much because like, all my fights in as well apart from one fight. Um, has been against Orthodox, so it's a bit of a, you know, it's different tactics, and I think I just need a bit more time to um, improve and come back bigger, better, stronger. He's put this out on Instagram, Zhang. I created history last time, don't mind doing it twice, so he's very confident coming into this fight of as well. Of course he's going to be confident. I think he was confident going in the first fight anyway, so he's... Um, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just down to me now to, to get it back and be better than him. Hmm. Would you say there's extra pressure this time? No, I think it's less pressure because I felt the first time that you, I was kind of overlooking him almost and you know, everyone's talking about the, the next fights and everything. <sighs> and so you admit that then you were looking past him no I wasn't looking past him at all no I was um, but I just think I can do a lot better and I I, just, uh, I don't know I think yeah I was a bit light and I fought him once so I know I know what to expect so going in the second time I know what I need to improve and you know how to you know I know what I, need, I, know, I know what I need to do so it's just doing it and like getting it back and beating him you go to Las Vegas or come next week yeah okay there's going to be a lot of support for you as well inside Wembley Arena. And it's not just people there to see you. They're actually there. Like, I feel like your fan base and the people who come out for you don't just come out because it's an event and it's a, it's a big fight, but they're actually there to push you on and wall you on. I've heard that in the, in the Parker fight, even though that was in Manchester. And especially in the last fight, when things were getting tough for you, the crowd really did rally behind you. So I feel like this time you're going to have, like, what, hopefully 10, 11,000 people screaming your name on. Is that going to help you in the ring? Yeah, down? yeah, I appreciate the support. It gives me that, um, that extra, extra little something to you know, put the shots together and that um, encouragement and stuff definitely help it goes a long way and um, yeah I was, I was just so disappointed for it like not only for myself losing the fight but like for the, the fans my family my friends and, every, and my fans that come come down to watch me and I haven't delivered and everyone's like looking all disappointed like oh he lost and stuff like it's you know or they've like you know put money down on me and lost the, lost the money so I just um, I just want to do it for everyone and, and myself as well of course, a lot of the heavyweight division is inactive at the moment with your likes of Tyson Fury and, and Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder. Get this win on September 23rd and then, uh, yeah, you feel like you can become a, a fan's favourite because this is the only news we've got in, in British boxing of any significance for a while. Yeah, and I'm, <clears throat> I'm actually fighting September 23rd to so come, come down and watch or tune in on TNT. Absolutely. Listen, Joe Joyce, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck in, in camp in Las Vegas and then... Yeah, go and write that wrong on September 23rd, eh? You can't be coming out to Vegas? If you, if you pay for my flight, Joe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak to Adam Morley about that. All Top right. man, thank you. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up.